Engineer 775 here. Uh, a lot of you continually ask me about gasifiers and uh, what to do, what kind of gasifiers to get, what can you run. Um, Baxter is not the gasifier. Uh, we're going to be talking to you about the leaf generator here, leafgenerator.com if you want to check it out. These guys are great, just uh, here with them today. Uh, they're from Tennessee. They make this unit that runs about a 7,000 watt generator. We're going to start this thing up for you and run a generator. Um, it is a classic uh, Imbert design, um, downdraft gasifier, and get a lot of questions on where can I get one. Um, and so, you know, this is a good option for an average size generator. This isn't going to run a truck, this isn't going to run a large generator, but uh, they might have future models that they're working on in, in terms of scaling down or up. So uh, gasification is still a very good solution for charging batteries. Anything stationary, charging batteries, running a generator, uh, when it's bad weather, when you don't have solar, uh, bad storm comes through, it tears up, <laughs> you know, it could be Hurricane Sandy or Katrina type situation. Um, this unit allows you to run a, a decent sized generator to run your home, to run some critical things like well pumps, fans. Uh, you know refrigeration to keep things going for a period of time the key on all gasification I'll just you know have to tell you is, is the fuel there's a lot of gasifiers out there and a lot of them work uh, extremely well and like this one the leaf but um, you have to definitely come up with the right fuel prep and um, this this is using uh, wood blocks like my uh, Victor uh, victory gas works gasifier uses wood blocks so um, let me just let's just take you through it I got uh, let me show you the inside of the hopper here. Um, we do start this from the top. We got some uh, wood chips and some wood blocks, and so uh, we're gonna we're gonna start it up right now. Robert's gonna start it. We got an air intake um, here, and typical of most gasifiers, so you have to have a some sort of swing check valve allowing the air in. So let's go ahead and start her up. We got a a little little electric blower. It's all plugged in. Pretty simple, and we're gonna. That's it. Not quieter than my compressor. Pulling the air out. A series of valves to control the airflow. The goal on all gasifiers is to get a good flare going, so you gotta but you gotta start it first. So we gotta get started here. Yeah, we got a nice little fire going. Wood's burning, and the blower is keeping it going. You start to see some of the, you can see it, the wood gas is starting to come out. All these swing check valves, they, they'll flap a little bit. You just stick your finger in there and calm her down. Yeah. It starts pulling the, water, pulling the air steady. So that's got a pretty good pull on it. So it's very good. So now we're, I guess we're going to switch over and do the flare in a, in a few minutes. Okay, the leaf is flaring off right now, so we're up to temperature, we're almost ready to run a generator. Trying a new blower out on this one, always fun. These are a fun experiment, but uh, we got it, it's got a good flare. And you gotta watch the flare, it'll shoot out about two feet. The hotter they get, the better they, they play, and you won't have any of that white smoke, any of that moisture in it. That's the hard thing, though. The hotter, hotter they get, the better they are. So they're, they're good for batch runs. You want to run for an hour to two hours. You don't want to run for five to ten minutes. Good deal. Let's cook something. Build, on, 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 on